<laughs> Morning and welcome back to breakfast. They've almost been forgotten now about somewhere along the line when it comes to applying for a job. The humble cover letter. What makes them different to your CV and how do you write one that will set you apart from the rest? Here to shed some light on it is Nwanthi Summer Cohn. Kia ora, good morning. Hello. Okay, is it still important to have a cover letter? I think it is, absolutely. Why? There's a time and place for it. <laughs> um, why? Well... It's an option to actually get your um, your story across, not from an achievements and experience perspective, but more from a who you are, what you stand for, bring your values, and bring a bit of tone into that conversation as well. So if there's certain language that you use more frequently as who you are, as, as, an, as an individual, um, it's great to put that out there. Okay, so you can be a bit casual in your cover. You could do, absolutely. Yeah. And also, if you've got gaps in your experiences, I always say to people, put that on there, um, explain um, the background, so it just doesn't leave your potential employer or whoever's reviewing it with questions at hand. Can you be creative with your cover letter? You can. I've seen some really cool ones, particularly with um, graduates and interns who um, get put, puts lots of colour and um, graphics and images. And you can, um, again, time and place and depending yeah. on what you're looking for. If it's a board or a governance role, um, probably stick to being more professional and a little bit more um, specific in terms of the why. Right. How long should a cover letter be? I'd say a maximum of one page. Right. Fair. Okay, so never anything too expansive. Is there right. stuff that you shouldn't include in a cover letter? Your life story, um, your history, your... Um, I think there's aspects of it that I think people go slightly overboard in terms of trying to explain who mm. they are and, and where they've come from. Um, I don't think your employer or whoever's, again, reviewing it, depending on the type of application, really needs to know all that. Often people looking for a job will have one cover letter format that they'll just have a few holes in and they'll say, dear, dot, 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 thank you for... you know. Should uh -huh. you do that? Let's just say if you don't have the time to be specific and customise it, don't put one in. Okay. That's my advice. Um, if you are actually going to put one forward, um, take some time to understand um, it from the other person's perspective. Mm. Your employer or that potential individual that's reviewing it is taking their time to actually understand more about you and see what the fit is mm. for that particular role or opportunity. So if you are going to put something forward, make it known that you're interested, but it's how you craft it. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. Easy. Hey, uh, Namanthi, have a quick... Woohoo! Yeah. I get a choice. There. Yeah, I know. One of two, right? <laughs> this is the problem of being the we last go. person on the show today. Sir Charles Rowe. Sir Charles Rowe. Right. Okay, so we if you go. win, you get um, 500 bucks to a charity of your choice. Terrible. So I know exactly good, who eh? that is. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it, as always. Lovely to see you. That is breakfast for today. We are back tomorrow from 6 till then. Hey, Cornada. Bye,